Welcome to Wesley Impact. I'm Keith Garner. How often do you interact with somebody who's living with, with a disability? Thank you for joining us today. I posed a question about disability because I would like to look at a number of areas of our work where we stand alongside and support people who are living with a disability. Firstly, our Wesley David Morgan Centre provides packaging services to a wide range of corporate clients. Through this commercial work, we employ a number of people who are living with a disability. Each person is paid a weekly wage. We design the work to suit the varying levels of ability and provide the services to our clients as any other corporate packaging company would do. This programme has been running in Western Sydney for over 50 years and the benefits to our employees as well as to our clients should not be understated. We'll look at Wesley David Morgan Centre in just a few moments. I'll also be speaking to a manager of our Wesley Disability Services, Olivia Valente. Lovely to speak to Olivia. I'm going to do that in a moment or two. He's been a colleague at Wesley Mission for a number of years. And in addition to his work in our disability services area, he volunteers in other areas of Wesley Mission and we'll speak with him in just a few moments' time. We'll be joined by Craig Gower and Deb Ezzy Walton and the Wesley Impact Band, who will sing No Longer Slaves. And I'll share some thoughts on how Jesus invites people to follow him, promising to teach them a new way that will bring a more fulfilling and peaceful life. But firstly, the Wesley David Morgan Centre. This is an area of Wesley Mission that began under the guidance of the then superintendent, the Reverend Alan Walker, then a benefactor, David Morgan. He donated a block of the past of land to us in 1970 and this innovative work began. Let's take a look together at that work. My name's Rick Lydiard, I'm the operations manager here at the David Morgan Centre. So the David Morgan Centre has been around for about 43 years. Uh, we're a, an Australian disability enterprise so we provide employment for up to 110 people with disabilities, most of whom have intellectual disabilities. On site here we run a packaging facility. Uh, we do work for a number of uh, businesses including pharmaceutical companies, veterinary companies um, and more generalised stuff like um, packing some already packaged food products, uh, mail outs, labelling and so forth. Uh, the people that we employ uh, probably require a little bit more support to maintain their employment but for all intents and purposes they're working in um, just your everyday real job. So it, it's meaningful employment for them, they're earning a wage, uh, they're contributing to Wesley Mission um, and probably above, above all else they're forming a lot of new relationships and um, you know the social aspect to their work is a really important thing for them too. They come here, they, um, they form a lot of bonds, long-lasting friendships, um, and they enjoy their work. You know, we've got two people that work here that have been here for 40 years, and that's, you know, a long time in any organisation to work for one employer. It's just like any other workplace. Um, you know, we have a, a hierarchy of supervisors that provide the training and the support and help them do what they need to do. Uh, we have the employees who like to have a bit of a chat while they're working, but they get in and they do their job. Um, they'll do multiple tasks. They get on the job training just like in any other workplace. We're a passionate workforce and we all love the work we do, um, and we all like to, to make sure that we put a quality product out on the market. My name's Renee. I'm the production coordinator here at David Morgan Centre, and my job is to coordinate production so it is effective and runs smoothly. I've been at the David Morgan Centre for six years now. Um, I started at the bottom as a casual, working alongside everybody and worked my way up to the role I'm in today. David Morgan Centre is a very meaningful place. We're like a big family here. We all get along and friendships that you make here last a lifetime. My name is Todd Commode. I've been working at, um, in Wesley Mission for the last six years as a Dalmar Admin Assistant and here at, at David Morgan Centre. I just, it means like you meet a lot of people, meet a lot of new people out, out in the mission. And it, 
out without there, it's pretty tough to look for a job out there because I know what the world's like out there. It's really difficult. So, but it means a lot to me and all that. So, hopefully, I'll be here a bit more longer. Look, I've been with Wesley for close to 17 years now and most of my employment has been in the employment services, so Federal Government Employment Services. And I've been here at the David Morgan Centre for three to four years and it's a real eye-opener. I mean, the, it's the best job I've had um, by far. Uh, the people that I get to work with on a, on a day-in, day-out basis are just a great group of guys to work with. Um, and for me, it's just about that sense of community and, and being able to, to show to our general community and our, our great customers that we've got as well that um, you know, a disabled workforce is a, is a very valuable workforce to have. If you would like to learn more about Wesley Mission, visit wesleymission.org.au. You can find help in our community services, connect with our church and congregations, discover a volunteer role that suits you, stay up to date on the latest news and information, donate to support our work and help make a positive difference in your community. You can also connect with us on social media and subscribe to receive the latest news and information about Wesley Mission directly into your inbox. Visit wesleymission.org.au. So the contact details are on the screen now. Be in touch if we can be of help to you or a loved one in any way. Now, my guest today is a colleague at Wesley Mission, Olivier Valente. Lovely, it's lovely to have him with us. He works in our Wesley Disability Services. But that's not always been the case. Olivier joined Wesley Mission in 2013 as a manager of our Wesley Taylor Village. And after a number of years in that role, he moved to the current role in our disability services work. As we gather from his name, Olivier is not a dinky dye Australian. <laughs> he is originally from France and comes to us in the studio today. Welcome, Olivier. Thank you, Keith. Tell Pleasure us a little bit here. about the work that you're doing at Wesley Mission today. So today I'm manager of disability services. So I oversee the service delivery of all our uh, disability services. We've got 15 supported accommodation, six, six life skill centers and a respite center. Yeah. So it's ensuring that we deliver the service as per the client's goal and, and need. Mm. And uh, how important is the work in disability services? Oh, it's huge. There's, the needs are, uh, are huge. There's a lot of people who um, need support. Um, so we try to obviously reach out as much as we can. There's a lot of referrals that our team is uh, are getting. Um, and there's an enormous uh, opportunity for Wesley Mission to service more people. I mean, we talk about NDIS, but really there's a danger in, in talking about systems and programs and not talking about the needs of people, isn't there? Yes. Um, I guess the NDIS now has uh, reached a stage where we um, can really um, support people um, in a meaningful way, get yeah. uh, the resources that they need to yeah. access the support that um, yes. they, they want. So uh, it's been a positive change in disability. Mm -hmm. Have yeah. you always felt called to work with people who are vulnerable and marginalised? Yes, very much. And it started with elderly. Mm. Um, but I guess with uh, people with disability, um, as I said to you, we have people who have potential. Mm. And it's great to work with people who are vulnerable, but also who have a lot of potential. And I think this is our mission mm. to help them to reach um, the the love they can and the goal they want. So we can tell from your lovely accent that you're from France. Tell us a little bit about your, your, your home in France and your movement to Wesley Mission. Yes. So I grew up in France uh, on the French uh, Alps. Um, did my university over there. I um, started to be very much interested in working with and for elderly people. Um, so I started my career in retirement village and nursing homes uh, in France. And I was very blessed to uh, meet um, a French and Australian a girl um, well, at my, in my 13 uh, years old. And um, we decided to get married and we moved to Australia in 2007. Mm -hmm. um, and I carry on with my career in edge care up to 2013 when I reached... Uh, was it very different in France in edge care and, as in Australia? Very much. Um, in France, there's more for-profit um, yeah. providers, uh, it's less regulated. Um, we don't have um, kind of uh, a lot of regulations around um, staffing model or mm. quality. Um, mm. So if you are a good operator, you can deliver good service, but mm. there's also not so good operator. Yeah. Where in Australia, 
it's regulated, it's quality focus. And more uh, balance, really. And more balance. Yeah. 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 You're a committed Christian. How important is that in your work? Very much. I think in everything I do, every people I meet, um, there's an opportunity to kind of meet God mm. and um, serve people. Mm -hmm. So I think it's an inspiration. Um, mm. It's a way to reflect. And um, it's just beautiful that I can marry my religious aspiration with the work I, uh, I mm. do. Mm. And so many people would love to be able to do that. They're sharing with us today. Yes. Um, but it's not always everybody. But for you, it's been a blessing. It's a blessing. And I think Edge Care for that was a blessing. Yeah. yeah. Because you work amongst yeah. people for people. Yeah. And you carry with your values. And, and I think the word of um, Jesus is... Um, Really, being really helpful. Look, somebody's listening to us now, overhearing our conversation, and they think they might want to work in disability services. What would you say to them? Oh, please come. I think this is a world of opportunity. Um, you'll feel grateful to be given this opportunity to work for so many amazing people, mm. um, to work with them, to um, support them, get them to reach their goals. Uh, there's a wonderful team effort. Mm. Um, there's a lot of different models. Mm. Um, there's a lot of different ways to support. And there's a lot of creativity. There's a lot of things to, to be done. Um, I think we are at the early stage. We, we've unpacked with NDIS a lot of uh, issues, a lot of uh, potential. Mm. And um, yes, mm. you'll have a long and happy career if you join disability. My own story has disability services in, in, in many ways. Ewan was a young man in a wheelchair who'd never been helped outside of his facility. And as a young person of 15 years old, I saw this as a wonderful opportunity to do something. And then changing career into ministry was after going into another area I would have wanted to do, but I didn't get the opportunity. So I'm always delighted to meet people like you. What's the most satisfying aspect of the work? Good question. I think is then when, when there's a challenge that we think um, is when we overcome a challenge, mm. um, when there's a situation with a client that really pushes us to find a creative solution and when the team works together and, and work out uh, how to deliver the support to the clients, I think this is where I get my most satisfaction. And we've got a few examples. And it you're wonderful to talk to you. Thank you for sharing with us today. Let's now welcome uh, the Wesley Impact Band to sing No Longer Slaves. You unravel me with a melody You surround me with a song Of deliverance from my enemies Till all my fears are gone I'm no longer
Experience the Galilee and the towns and cities where Jesus was raised and called his home. Capernaum, Nazareth, Tabga, Magdala, Caesarea Philippi, Bethsaida, Tiberias, and of course, the Sea of Galilee all feature in this six-part series as Keith Garner explains the first century context of biblical events. Jesus was born during a time of change in the political and economic leadership of this region. Fishermen around the lakeside was really one of the big businesses. Why Jesus? Why didn't people ignore him? Why did they take him seriously? And what are the questions we should be asking today if we're going to take Jesus seriously? The Man of Galilee is available now and comes with a study guide for leaders, small groups and individuals. For more, visit wesleymission.org.au. As I was walking down the train station, because I never used to catch a train, I'm always driving, but I happened to catch a train because I was coming back from the city, and I was looking down all the blue shirts, <laughs> and I went, oh my gosh, I love Wesley Mission. And that's it, we started chatting, and I said, and you know, because I know the good works that they do, I said, yes, of course I want to support weekly, you know, whatever I can. You know, it doesn't have to be a lot. I love that Wesley Mission has been uh, around for more than 200 years and you know I think sometimes we try and reinvent the wheel and things collapse and things fail but this, this charity has been around for 200 plus years. It's an Australian iconic brand charity that's helping people in the community. It's trusted by the community. You don't have to give a lot, a little helps, $2, $5, you know, you know even if, whatever you can in your capacity, uh, you know, and help people less fortunate than yourself. As I've been looking through Matthew's Gospel, I've explored that theme of welcome. Welcome, which is so important as we welcome, so we are welcomed and vice versa. We now explore the related theme of invitation. These words come from as a wonderful climax, if you like, to chapter 11 of Matthew. Let me read from Matthew 11, 25 through to 30. At that time, Jesus said, I praise you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and learned and revealed them to little children. Yes, Father, for this is what you were pleased to do. All things have been committed to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and those whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Sometimes I, I think we, in the Christian community, preachers, teachers and leaders often make unattainable demands upon people. It's the nature of what we do. This is a passage to read to sort of balance things up. It talks very much from a farming image. It talks about a yoke, a yoke that was often around an animal as they, they ploughed a field. It talks about a yoke that is easy. Now, language has matter. I've just been talking to somebody in this program, Olivia, who comes from a French uh, culture, and the use of his language is beautiful, and it, it has words. But in the languages themselves, there are often differences of words. And the Greek word for easy carries a connotation meaning suitable, easy to wear. Or you might even use this word, appropriate. Now, that's very different than we often think of easy as being, oh, it's easy, there's no effort required, it's something that, that just there and we just do it. Hold the thoughts there in tension with the demands of the gospel. So we have the demand of following Christ and then the, the, the appropriateness, the ease of following him. Words that are very powerful and help me learn from me, Jesus says. Oh, it's a wonderful image that he is willing 
to, to help us to learn the way of truth from him. He is the great mentor, the one who comes into our lives and empowers us and gives us the opportunity, the possibility of learning his way. Jesus says to all of us, I will give you rest. Now, to the first listeners, this would mean, I think, two things. Life at its best and also spiritual peace of mind. Life at its best. The wonderful truth is what we, we read in John's Gospel where we, we're quite clearly given this picture about life. I have come that you might have life and life in all its fullness, abundant life. And yet at the same time, he came to bring us peace. Peace that is more than just the absence of war, the absence of tension. Peace that is that calmness, that, that character, that deportment that comes into a Christian's life when they know Christ. He doesn't ask us to do something, but to come. Now, so often we say to people, you must do this, you must do that. Jesus doesn't do any of that. He doesn't do an instructional course in all the demands that are there. He simply says, come. None of us is so rich in relationship as to discard a friend. Now, the friendship of Jesus is always what fascinates me and also makes possible welcome. And it's an invitation to receive grace. How many times do I open the Bible week by week on this program and tell you it's always about grace, not by works of righteousness, but by his grace alone? People love invitations. It makes a person feeling it feel rather special. You know, go, go to the post box, you open it, and, and perhaps whoever you're living with, your friend, your brother, your sister, your wife, or your husband, you say, is there any post today? And, and, and you're glad to say, oh, yes, there is one actually, it's a very interesting one. There's an invitation here. An invitation does something to you. It opens you up to feel the appreciation of God. We've been given the most important of all invitations, to come, to come, to come follow him, to come serve him, to come and open our lives up to everything that he would give us. And if we come, if we are prepared to respond to that challenge, then he makes possible all kinds of changes in our lives, makes it possible for us to be. You know, that's what we, we are about. We are about a community that learns what it means to be to be the very best we can by opening our heart, our life, and every part of our, of our ingenuity in response to God. Well, that is a, a yoke. It's a yoke that we will ha gladly bear because it fits. And not only does it fit, it's appropriate. It's appropriate for me and it's appropriate for you. And God addresses you in the same way that he does the world through these words of Jesus. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened. How easy it is to let those things happen to us for all kinds of reasons in our lives, weighed down. But you know, what he does is lifts us, gives us opportunity, gives us possibility and makes it in our lives an opportunity for rest real rest. Rest doesn't necessarily mean stopping doing things. It means living in that place where God's grace and peace and hope is manifest day by day. So if I ask the question of you, how do you respond? How will you respond? If you would like to contact Keith and find out more about today's program, write to us at Wesley Mission, Post Office Box A5555, Sydney South 1235. Or you can send us an email to impacttv at wesleymission.org.au. On our website, you can catch up on past episodes of Wesley Impact, find out more about our work, read online magazines and articles, and connect with us on social media. You can also connect through Keith's blog, and stay up to date on all the latest news and information from Wesley Mission, wesleymission.org.au. Don't forget to be in touch if we can be of help to you or a loved one in any way. In addition to our work in disability services, we work alongside people through employment, family, aged care, through a whole myriad of different services. Our contact details are on the screen now. If you've got any questions about the Christian faith, don't hesitate to be in touch. I hope you found the conversation with Olivia interesting and my thoughts about Jesus' invitation enlightening to you. I look forward to spending time with you at the same time again next week. And until then, may God bless you.
Wesley Mission operates one of Australia's leading disability employment services. To find out more, visit wesleymission.org.au.